Microphone check, microphone check. I don't want to hear any static on that bitch. Yo, yo, what's the word, y'all? We are back with another episode of Fly on the Motherfucking Wall. It's your boy Buddha here. I had to bring on another guest, someone who I respect, someone who I think is super talented, rapper extraordinaire, uh, and really beyond that, bro, you're a great fucking artist. Like, I see you doing covers and shit of like Thanks, rock songs, fucking R&B records. Like, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're everywhere. Let me stop. Let me stop the hype train. I'm gonna let him drive this bitch. Uh, <laughs> this is Damon, everyone. Peace, peace. What's good, y'all? How's it going? Oh yeah, I gotta do my own intro. Yeah, yeah. Let let it I'm, let it be heard. I'm Damon, not Damon. I get that sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's all good though. Um, blame it on my parents. That's my real name. <laughs> I work in a uh, music publishing for a nine for a nine to five. So I work for a company called Hard. TSM Third Side Music. I write songs. You know what I'm saying? So that that's why my Spotify sometimes is all over the place creatively because a song will end up on Netflix and it's a. Uh, we oh, get yeah. an electronic version of Frank Sinatra's New York, New York, and then next thing you know, we spit in bars. So I'm all over the place creatively. I just love what Skilled. I do. Yes, sir. My bad, bro. I just like I'm, I'm impressed by that, man. Thanks, like man. that, bro. You see, I, as a as an artist and musician myself and songwriter too, kind of in a similar mold, bro. Yeah, like yeah. where where like uh, you know we we take it everywhere, and oh, like yeah. you you really do that, and that's Thanks, I, I you know I just. Uh, I just feel like it's a very challenging thing to do, and especially as, like, most rappers these days, like... And I'm not trying to be the most rappers these days guy, because that ain't me. Because Most I'm, rappers these days. <laughs> nah, but, but now you gotta say it. But, you started but, saying but, it. But, like, for real, though, like, the, a, a lot of people kind of stay in one fucking lane, and, mm. you know, I think that as, as human beings, we're creative enough... And smart enough to not limit ourselves to one lane, yeah. and you're you're good at that. Like, Thank but you. but Thank let you. me uh, transition into asking you this: like, what Please. what uh, makes you go those different routes instead of just being like, I'm just gonna be a rapper? Because you got bars out the fucking Thank wazoo. You. Thank but you. you and you were you were kind of being hard on yourself earlier when you were saying that you didn't really like your well, singing voice. But no, I, just, I like it. Like, Thank you. But I mean, I'm also being in my profession, being in my line of work. I've worked with some of the most incredible singers in the world. So when you hear someone, I get that, like yeah. my homegirl Ann One, or like Shell, or like I work with Strings recently. When you oh, hear yeah, somebody strings. with yeah. that voice, like this, like God came into the room and started singing to you. Yeah, really you just, bless that shit. It keeps yeah. you, in, it keeps things in perspective. Like I could carry a note <laughs> a little bit if I need it, but it's levels, like it's levels to this shit. So that's that's the only reason why I'm saying that. No, valid, but, um, valid. But no, in terms of like what motivates it is the it's the money. I want to get paid now. <laughs> I want money. Get the bread, baby. No, no but for real, it's like um, I know you can do a lot with rap. Yes, but it's just like I always say, like uh, uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't perform brain surgery with a chainsaw. You know, it's like Ooh. it's different tools Ooh. for different. Okay, you know what I, I'm saying? I love that. That like is a, like a scalpel and a chainsaw game. can cut. Yeah. But they cut for different certain certain roles. Exactly. They fit for so certain things. Same yes. thing with genres. Same mm-hmm. thing with certain types of beats. Yep, so yep. when I'm like in a certain mood, writing a rap song doesn't always capture that mood Damn. for me, that energy. You I know love the way you're wording this, so, bro. So sometimes you need to like my, my producer is uh, uh my boy Adrian. Yes. And he's yeah. just as proficient and just as skilled with rock music as he is with trap. So it's wide it just, versatility. Yeah, yeah, so we just be in there like filling it out. So I might come in the studio and, and humming a melody or something and we start building it out and it's like this feels like well, we we got a style of music we call grunge trap. So okay, it's like grunge that's trap. hard. So yeah. this feels like a grunge trap record. So we don't force, we don't try to force that that, that vibe. Yeah, you just into, give what's natural. Yeah. And what what it's what almost like uh, you let the emotions call out, yeah. and then the beat will all. It's vice versa, you know. Like yeah. the beat will call out to you and tell you what to yeah, do. Yeah, it will. And it you will. know, and you absolutely, s- you just seem like you're. Uh, you know, it's like a, it's a musical intelligence almost to where like when the beat talks to you, you know how to talk back. You got to listen to that like, mother. You got to <laughs> yeah. listen. You got to listen, bro. People, people be trying to force the issue and you have to allow it to like my best work 
is usually when I'm just I'm just I feel free. Even on them records, you know you get on them records with other rappers and you know everybody trying to cut everybody's heads yeah, off. Yeah, but you just letting it be you. That's when I actually end up cutting niggas' heads off. That's it's it. when I just chill. But For anytime real, I'm trying bro. to be like, I'm gonna murder this, I look at my verse and I'm like, it's cool. But when I'm just like, yo, what, what what's in it? What, what's the beat saying? What what's my feeling? What, what what are the other rappers gonna do? What can I do different so that the song feels cohesive? Yeah. So you're not just ended up with three verses that are all the same. Everybody just everybody just trying to kill each yeah. other. It's it's like, like, but it's instead you just giving yourself, which is what the record needs. Exactly. Then you end yeah. up. Then people come to you later and be like, "Yo, man, I, that I, one I, verse on the one thing." You're like that one. Like they're like, "Yo, you killed that shit." Yeah. It's like only when I do it like in service to the song, mm -hmm. in service to the artist I'm with, does it work. So yeah, man, it's just like it's honestly being That's in hard. service. It really is, bro. It's so so weird. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's counterintuitive because <laughs> people think that like like when I said the thing about the singing voice, I'll do my best work. Out of humility, like yeah, when just I'm just chilling and just letting vibing, it be natural, yeah, second nature. Almost. Yeah, but when you come in with that sort of, and it's different for I every have artist. to do this, so yeah. I'm gonna try. And then when it's almost like when you try, you fuck up. When you don't try, it becomes yeah. uh, just you. And I feel like you putting yourself in a record is more important than trying to be impressive on a record. Yeah, because you become impressive when you show who you are. Yeah, and that's vulnerability, and that's all what art is about. Is like that's real breaking down the walls. Showing yourself what's the exoskeleton. Finding that truth that, that connects with people. And it's not for everybody, because some people That's true. That is some true. Some people do better work. I'm not we're not gonna get into names. That's true. But I know some rappers here <laughs> mm -hmm. that are like straight up WWE characters. <laughs> you talk to them in real life and they're like one way, and then you see them on Stone the internet Cold and they're just like, oh, Austin, fucking brother. cut your fucking face open and yeah, but and, and, but yeah. it works for them. Yeah. And it's like, I can't take that away from him. Right. Because yeah. it's working and no. people are people are connecting with that. It, 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 different strokes for different folks, exactly. man. It's, and exactly. there's and there's enough room in rap and music in general for that. For all it, of it. it really is. All like of all of it. Mm -hmm. Even if even if I don't agree with a certain style or a certain thing, that yeah. doesn't mean that there's not a place for it. For, exactly. The, 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 the exactly. music world is beautiful like that. It's a spectrum, it man. It's, it is. Like, you know, you get like <laughs> in colors, right? Like you'll get like purple and then there's fucking magenta, bro. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like when you yeah. growing yeah. up in kindergarten, I just think of like the basic colors. I'm like, oh, yeah. purple, yellow, yeah. blue, red, yeah, green. Yeah. It's like there's more than that, though. There's fucking forest green. There's emerald. Mm -hmm. There's fucking... Uh, you know, magenta, there's mahogany, there's all these different colors. Yeah. That's how music is too. It's like True. all these subgenres and like all these different things. But I do, uh, you know, I digress on that to say like, you know, the, the people who keep it vulnerable to me are my favorites. Yeah. Those are the ones I really enjoy the most. Yeah. And I'm not knocking the dudes just coming in WWE style yeah. with it. Like it's a place like, for that too. It, it's a place, yeah, it's for, a place that for that too. I get that. But no, you, but, we, I think we tend to gravitate towards what we like to do ourselves, mm -hmm. and then sometimes almost the complete opposite. Yeah, it's a like shit you've never done before. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I think uh, the rapper of uh, JID, mm -hmm. he was talking about how he doesn't listen to Love nobody that raps like how he raps. He likes more like straightforward, more ignorant shit, but yeah. he feels like the city likes listen to is different than what his output is. I, so everyone kind of relate different. to that. Yeah, I, I can relate to that too because I remember being a kid. Being a real nerdy kid, but always being, I still wanted it to be lyrical. But yeah. I always was more, I always gravitated Some to street shit. shit. Or yeah. just more street lyrical stuff. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, it took me years to get into, like, Daylight. Like, I had to go back. Oh, yeah, right. To get yeah. into that stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, anything yeah, yeah. that was too similar to me, I would sort of naturally come not away wanna, from. Yeah, not what like, I listen to. Yeah, but, right. like, Doggy Pound, like, uh, Dog Pound, Snoop Dogg. Yup, The hard. more street gangster shit. I, as a kid, I was more into that. But then, always wanted to have. That lyrical, you it's, know, content. It's, it's, al it's almost like the, like, ideal of, like, your parents telling you not to do something. And then, and, do and then you do it. But you, it's the, it's the, like, uncharted territory of it that makes you love it. Like, for me, mm -hmm. like... I'm I'm a white dude. I grew up in the suburbs. Wait, you like, white? And, <laughs> what the man. fuck? I, I'm out of here. What is, it, what is this? What had Ain't nobody tell me he was white? Ah, shit. I woke up and I fucked up again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Good, man. Right. But, like, I, I you know, uh, I, I grew up listening to fucking Gucci Man and fucking Boosie and, yeah. like, Wayne and, like, and a lot of a lot of gutter ass trap shit and yeah. like and like really even a dude like Kendrick Lamar who's does a record like Good Kid, Mad City, which literally puts you in the hood yeah. and puts you in Compton. See, and that's like, what I'm but into. But I loved that. That's shit. what I'm into. Like I it's, loved it. It's, like it's it's a uh, it's a uh, 
cerebral, but it's street. Mm-hmm. Like it's not. It doesn't lose. Good, it doesn't lose that way, man, you... that energy. <laughs> it don't lose that feel. But like sometimes when it just be, when it gets to be too blatant, like it's like this song is called "Shooter in the Head." What's it about? Shooting her in the head. Yeah, he's then got. Kinda, like, then I get lost. Then I'm like, God's I'm got some layers it's to gotta it. Got to have yeah, yeah, layers. Yeah, yeah. That was my favorite shit. Like as a kid, like listening to a Nas record for the hundredth time and then being like. Oh, well, he said this and it meant that. Like, what? Yeah, like, oh, shit. yeah. I just love those little nuggets. But you're like, I love a song that can give you a feeling on the top layer. Yeah. And then you could just enjoy it just for that. Yeah. But yep. then you listen to it maybe even five years later and you'll be like, yo. I just love that. Like, find a yeah, bar and you're you like, get yo, those ex- yo, he Those did. extra listens uncover more for the song. Yeah, and that's I why that. those are my favorite artists Me all too. the time. Me like, too. I feel like Frank Ocean does a really good job yeah, of that. Yeah. Uh, I feel like. Uh, Kendrick is is almost like you could argue he's like kind of the king of layers. Really, yeah, he's like, really great. You know it, what Kendrick <laughs> does well to me, in my opinion, is that if you and this is just from a writing standpoint, I might get crucified for this. Uh, it's okay. But as, That's what but this as for. a as a as a lyricist, <laughs> the top layer of a lot of his stuff is really simple. It is. No, it is. It's like, digestible. Yeah. yeah. And he's yeah. so good, like the repetition, finding a place of I'm gonna repeat this phrase. Or finding mm-hmm. a spot to I'm gonna give you this flow. He's so good he picks at knowing his, how the, yeah, to pick his spot. Yeah, picking his yes. Oh, oh my, my god. god. It's like it he's, makes me he, mad sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, like god, why didn't I it? think of that yeah. shit? Yeah. That full I'm, stop. Feel that. Hundred percent lyricist, you're so busy like Oh, I'm gonna compound this part of this word player, this thing. And then you end up with this gobbledygook sometimes of people like, I don't wanna listen to that shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, you forget right. the listener, you forget that interaction. Like, there are people that have to listen to this. I, I, I especially as being underground rappers, we, we, we deal with this a lot. Yes. Like, we know yep. some of our contemporaries 100%. that mm-hmm. say shit like, I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks of my music. And I always tell them, I yeah. say, then don't make me listen to it then. If you don't care how it's going to make me feel. Yeah, then, you, then why then why am I, yeah, what's the incentive for me to jam to exactly. it? Yeah, yeah. I want, for me as an artist, that's what I want. I want connection. Yeah. I want people to, because, it. okay, I'm, I'm, I make a lot of my music in a sense of like, I'm alone mm-hmm. and I want people to understand how I feel, so I don't feel alone. If that makes sense, and yeah, I'm not saying it. that's all my I music, but there's, there's a big, but there's a big part like of that. it that is yeah. that. Yeah, no, and, full stop. And touching on what we were just talking about too, before I forget about it, my ADHD my yeah, yeah, going no. bonkers. Oh yeah, between, between <laughs> the you, two of you're us, you're killing it, bro. You giving me all. You, <laughs> he's giving me game right now. I'm sitting here listening. I'm like, bro, this dude is just hitting it with it. But uh, pause. <laughs> but but. Um, on some shit, bro. I read the uh, Rick Rubin had released this book, and if you haven't read it, you should. It's really good. Uh, I've read called- lots of it through you posting it on. I, yeah, I've, I literally spent I've seen, it on. I've my read about stories, half of that bro. book. Big shout out to Rick Rubin. You got your man right here. I, you send this man a check. I am I am the fanboy, bro. One hundred percent. But twenty four dollars, Amazon Prime. Go ahead and get that shit. <laughs> it's at Target, wherever. Uh, but either way, there's a there's a phrase in the book, and I wanted to connect it to what we were just talking hmm. about. Um, he says, "Art isn't making simple complicated. It's about making complicated simple." Hmm. And like when you're talking about how artists come do all this shit, and then they come up with some gobbledygook hmm. when they're doing it. It's it's literally about like breaking things down to make it digestible. Like that's really what art is in painting and music and everything. It's like to where you look at it and you know what it is. You don't yeah. have to sit and think too much on yeah, it. Yeah. You know. But that's it's like a good before movie. I forgot, I had to get yeah. that one. Oh no, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. It's like a good movie where you sometimes like I'm really in the um I want I, my, my thing I want to do when I get out of music or whatever, when I get too old to stand on stage. I want to uh I want to write my own comics, so I've been like writing. Ooh, I but love the, it. But the thing is, hit me up, bro. I want to get in there uh, with yeah, you, man. For sure. But the thing is, because I've been writing music at mm-hmm. what I feel like is a pretty high level for a long time, yeah, I know 100%. what a bad thing. I know when I'm writing you got, something. You, you, you know good. your taste, yeah. Yeah. You, you so you got good I can't taste. write the comic to the level that I'm that I want to get it to. So yeah. I'm like having a having a study and learning. But I I don't even know what you make. Oh, but in a movie, it's like watching a movie, and I couldn't tell you why the movie's good, but I know it's good. There are things that are themes that are bouncing Bingo. around, and then someone who's uh, studied film will talk with me and walk me through it, and I'll be like, okay, I didn't get any of that. Yeah. But, I, but that movie was great. Yeah. So it's the same right. thing with I, the song. It's like yeah, yeah. I, I digested it and it tasted good. Yeah, I don't yeah, know why yeah, it tasted yeah. good. I don't know what you did. Like that's how I feel when I go out to eat. Sometimes I'm like, all right. I just had a fucking steak and it was delicious and but why the fuck was that shit yeah, so good? Yeah, yeah. Cause I, I fuck, I'll buy a steak and I might fuck that shit up yeah. cooking it myself. Like right, right, no full stop. But, 
But then a chef will be like, well, what I did was I, put, <laughs> I simmered it with the juices. In the thing. And you're like, oh, okay. You put the juices on it. I guess, 400 oh, degrees yeah. and yeah. for 15 minutes, of course baste it. Like, like this. <laughs> I'm crying, bro. Oh, man. Uh, no, fuck. No, no, no. I feel like, bro, uh, already just with what we've been talking about here mm-hmm. so far, like, uh, I think we've gotten on a lot of good points, bro. And I, I'm, I'm just impressed with everything that you're saying too, because Thank it's you. stuff that I connect with as, Ooh. as an artist in a similar realm. And yeah, like, yeah. you know, uh, it's something that I struggle to find people like me with this shit. So I'm really happy. Yeah. And you know, like I, we've performed together. We've yeah. done shows together. This is really the first time we're like kicking it. Well, cause like, I don't really like to talk at shows because same. it's so loud. And like it's so loud at the show, mm-hmm. and then we, what we do is we talking to each other with the music loud. So technically, we like and we doing it all we night. Wrote, we, so we we're yelling for an hour and a half, two hours of yelling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then get on stage and have to rap. So sometimes people think I'm being antisocial, but I'm like, bro, no, I don't want to yell for three hours. Ain't nobody paid me. To yell. <laughs> Matter of fact, most of these shows ain't nobody paying me at all. <laughs> right, so the show ain't paying me to yell for three hours. But like, it's not conducive <laughs> That's to so like fucking real. Though. You know, I try to keep it to like anecd- like little bits of like conversation. We yeah. talked about like we had one little brief conversation about um. Rapping over your vocal. Yeah, yep, yep. And yep. it was just like real fast, like little little bits. Yeah, just that was it though. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. but but I get it too because I'm like, and also another thing, when I'm at a show, I have such weird anxiety about oh, stuff, God, right? Yeah. So like, God, yes. if if I'm at a show, I'm almost tunnel visioned to just performing and making sure my performance is gonna be mm-hmm. on, on key, mm-hmm. and like, I almost like shut off every. It's it's so weird. I'm trying to get better about it. Cause like I'll I'll go to some events and like I should be networking I should be like talking to different people but like I get in my own head of like all right if I do anything differently than I have planned I'm gonna fuck up tonight mm. and like and it's so weird because it's just it might be maybe it's OCD I don't know what the fuck it is yeah yeah but I tweak myself out like that sometimes oh no but I feel but, you. but, but I feel beyond you. beyond all that yeah I'm happy that I'm actually getting to kick it with you and getting to know you as oh, for sure who you are and bro you're fucking cool ass dude oh, I and uh, it, I feel like we're on the same page artistically yeah 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 for I, sure I, I respect that shit I mean you're uh, on the same page with the anxiety thing I struggle with anxiety I mean where I have like what I do is like I give myself time limits because I know there's only so much of it I can do yeah so yeah. I'll be like I went to two events this past week I went to see my boy who turned 40 big shout out to Vandalism one of the greatest rapper producers ever come Hell out yeah the city. you should you, you would love Van he's a, damn right put me on bro I'm about, to, I'm about to tap in and he's like a dope ass DJ now I was like this nigga needs to stop doing everything he's too good at everything <laughs> renaissance man that's truly truly yeah but I went to see him uh, quickly for his birthday I spent about 15-20 minutes there I dapped him up say happy birthday and left and then I went to Fem Fest and I spent 15-20 minutes there Hell and it yeah. wasn't because I wasn't enjoying myself but my social anxiety is so crippling yeah. it's like look I can give you 20 of your, the best minutes <laughs> pa- I mean, pause, that battery pause. dies though hold on pause <laughs> again again <laughs> We're walking Super on the thin line today, man. Nah, uh, especially because I know Rodden probably watched this and we got the pause game a lot. Big shout out oh, to Rick Riddles for yourself. Yeah, now, so, yeah. Um, I feel that. I feel that. But you got to find those things that work for you. Like, you got to flow that works. Hey, if it works stay in the works. routine, yeah, right? Stay in your routine, man. Facts. For real. Well, shit. Uh, just because I don't want to test my camera's limits. Give it a break. We're, we're, we're going to hop off and we will hop back on. Pause. And <laughs> we we will be right back after this break. I hope y'all enjoyed this first half. Remember yeah. Buddha TV. We'll be right back. These niggas ain't got no motion. 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 I'm cutting half homies out my circle. They send me automatically desert to this big Urkel, the God nerd. Be real careful like kids curfew. Them false words put your little niggas to sleep. Quick as the moss birds from close range. Anonymous killers, we work with no name. Show pain, don't let them gas you. We smoke All right, y'all. We are back. We are back. We are motherfucking back. Uh, Fly on the wall episode, whatever. Go ahead and check it out and keep watching. Uh, So we talked a lot about a lot of shit for real. The first half there. I mean, uh, you know, like you're just I feel like we got to dive into who Damon is and like, you know, why he is kind of thing. And uh, I love that shit, man. I feel like you're a really fucking cool dude. You're a Thank fucking you. super talented artist. Oh. Uh, really, and like not trying to hype it up too much, one of the best that I've really been around. Uh, and, you know, uh, 
we're talking a lot about the fucking community and our break yeah. and stuff too yeah. and like you know our our beliefs and our stances on shit and you know anyway i'm just uh over here praising you up man you, i just man. think i think it's a really you're a really cool dude and i think everyone really needs to tap in with what you're doing and uh your your group too uh, oh, do, you yeah. want, do you want to talk about uh oh, rotten? rotten real yeah, quick yeah, yeah i'll talk about rotten yeah. um Man, Revenge of the Nerds uh, is with uh, Rec Riddles and Supreme Soul. Big shout out. Those are my brothers. Yeah. Uh, we just started. Dope. We've only been a group for about a year now. Hell yeah. Um, we were backstage at the, at a show at Four Hands, and we were just laughing about us. We all have had similar experiences being um, underground rappers in a city like St. Louis. St. Louis has really tapped into the street culture, yep. gangsters, drugs, that kind of thing. Yep. But well, yep. we're not really built like that. We're not tough guys like that. But I right. Mean, I mean, Rec probably is. <laughs> yeah, wreck, wreck, wreck. I wreck can see a, that. Wreck will shoot you in the face. And, and uh, sorry I can to put see him out that. like that. And uh, and soul, soul is no chump. But like we all yeah. kind of come no, from yeah. the, we all outcast. So we were just laughing about how we had similar experiences. And I was like, yo, we should just do like a revenge project, just like getting back at anybody like picking on people like us. Oh yeah, that feel like that. And I was like, we call it revenge of the nerds. And we were just laughing. But when I went home, I started thinking revenge of the nerds. I wrote it down. And I was like, oh shit, Revenge of the Nerds, R O T N, Rotten. Yeah, and that, text them and that and I was sounds like, dope too. I swear to God, we started doing the group just because of the name. We were like, oh, that's too, you it's hard that. though. It's and, hard. And we were going to do it with a bunch of people. We had a list of people we were going to ask to be in the group. But when we, uh, I went to LA for work. And then I, I I bought some I just bought some YouTube beats and I was like, yo, I'm going to buy these YouTube beats, and write some ideas, and we all got in the studio, yeah. and recorded them, and we were like. Nah, the vibe was there because Soul is so high energy yep. and he's got like a real super like uh, fast sort of flow. I mean, he can flip it up, but he but that's sort of his gear. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, Rec is just really solid. He just a great crowd control. When he's on st- when Rec's on stage, I feel like you can hear every word that's he's saying. True. He, he has great delivery. It's like he's just his, talking his, to you. Yeah, he's his, sitting there just like talking. His delivery you know? is on point. That's and, for uh, sure. And I'm I'm I pay for it, so of course I get to be in the group. So <laughs> that's <laughs> my <yeah>. job. <laughs> Hell but, yeah! But no, so I mean, we just we just like we just really built like it just kind of all came together really quickly matter of fact our first single um our first official single inertia is dropping uh what's it october 26th so probably that, that'd be a day from when this drops yeah, we're, we're yeah. just we're in we're traveling to the future with it yes, though, from the, right now i'm from the future but um <laughs> uh, it's true Hell but uh yeah. nah so yeah so i'm really excited about that we do some what we call the inertia flow because all of our styles are so different what we do is Whoever's ending the bar, uh-huh. the, everyone has to say the phrase at the end of the bar. Oh, so yeah. everyone has to, so, so if the next person coming in they start has, with to, that. has to use That's that hard. phrase. I so like that. It forces yeah. the flows to connect more like Lego blocks. So everything has to it be connected. creates a as pattern. As opposed to the overlapping if the rhythms are different. So, That's dope. Yeah, and I'm I pretty sure that. other people have done it. The Beastie Boys, um, Hieroglyphic Souls of Mystery. Yeah. Yep, but yep, yep. it was just our way of helping us. Well, it's, mo- it's, it's modernized, flow. too. Yeah, I feel like yeah. what you guys are doing is more modernized. Thanks, bro. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shout out to the OGs, but yeah, we definitely got our own feel for it. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So It's just over-the-top, aggressive, in-your-face rap, but from three artists who you might not necessarily expect it from, it's mostly kind of trap drums. Yeah. It's just me. We want to just write something mean and crazy, because my shit, and we talk about this. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's so personal. Our music is, our, our, our solo act stuff is so much about our, our actual experiences and what we're going through. Right. It's yeah. just fun to get on a, a record yeah, and, and get, talk and get, wild. Yeah, and go and just crazy. Go crazy you get, know what I'm get, get ignorant every once exactly, in a while, man. man. It's still it does. lyrical. It's still, it's still for bar, it's, bar fans, but... But the energy is different. Oh, the energy is so different, bro. Yeah. I, I did a show. Uh, I did a fresh produce show. Yeah. And I had Rotten come up with me, and I made the mistake of having Rotten do two songs, and then I close it out with a song by myself. Okay. I will yeah. never do that again. <laughs> you do not want to go after Rotten. I mean, oh shit. Not, I mean, I'm just saying. You just, it just the energy level was different. It was just heavy. And all three of us were going. It was crazy. It like was going heavy. Nuts. And heavy. then I went after that, and people were like. Uh, that, that was cool. <laughs> That's cool, my nigga. No, nah, like, man. I know that shit was hard, too. But st- I get what you're saying. You, know you get that energy with your boys up there, man. I, levels, I, I get that. I yeah, get that. Never it, again, it, so. It hits. Yeah. That's that's dope. So y'all, y'all tap in, I guess... When this episode drops, the day after, Rotten's new single, Inertia, will be dropping. So yeah. go ahead and get that shit, add it, put it on your playlist. Spam the motherfuckers, bro. It's hard. I already yeah. know it's hard. Oh, I yeah, a- I'm going to make sure you get to hear because no one's heard it yet. So I'm going to make sure you get to hear it. Ooh, shit. All right. That's yeah. it. That's it. 
All right, so without further ado, oh. uh, we're going to do a big, uh, one of my favorite things that we always do whenever I bring a guest on here. It's my overrated, underrated series. Uh, he reads my shitty handwriting. I thought he was going to let me have a hat. I was like, oh, I'll get a free hat? <laughs> you get this one at Profield. This, yeah, that's the, the local joint, baby. Oh, yeah. Shout, shout out Chris, man. Big shout. Yeah. So, All right, so uh, uh, yeah, pull, pull whatever at the hat. We're going to go overrated, underrated. Okay. Rap about it. See what's up, man. Overrated, underrated. Let Two? Me- what do I just say? Let me know. Let, let me know if you can't read my handwriting. I can here. read it. No, go, go, good. That's good. That's rare. And I'm supposed to say if this person is overrated or underrated. Yeah, between one of or, or perfectly rated. Oh or my Or perfectly God. rated. I'm a, you about to give me shot, bro? Oh shit. It's Tupac. Woo! On the first oh pool. Oh my God. I I love me some Pac. I but... love Pac. Pac is top five all time for me. Facts. Facts. What? Yeah. Keep if it I re- had to pick keep, between overrated, keep it underrated. real. Keep it real, Run man. Pac is a little overrated. Damn. He's a little Dropping overrated. bombs on here, man. Because people, because people, act, there are people who will act like Pac is unequivocally the greatest of all time. He's, and I, he's, he's up there. Yes. Yeah. But he's not number he, one. No, he's not. There's. But there, no, but then again, I've, I have this saying, I literally just said it to myself last night. Once you're in the top 10 to 25, you're Then number, you are you're basically number one. Number one. You're yes. number one. I, I was so, all... Yep, yep. I don't know. So he's just... He's braided properly. Yeah. I, Pac's braided perfect, properly. Perfect. Yeah, I think I, I would Pac's agree with, I would agree with you that. You know what helps? Over time. Pox rated properly now. Yeah. But like maybe 10 years ago, 12, 13 years ago, when it was still he, he close was a, to... It was... It got, it was a, little, a, little it got over, a little crazy. A little overrated. But now that, that we've yeah. kind of like... We've had... Like, time to let it marinate. We've had our runs with... You know, Drake is now a legend. Yep, and yep. Cole's a legend. Yep. And, uh, Ken- Wayne's a legend. Yeah, Kendrick doing his Kendrick thing too. So all yeah. these, all these more, these newer, more modern legends. Yeah, I think have helped put things in perspective with uh, you know, Eminem's a legend. So you have all where, these people yeah, where everyone so, stands. Yeah, kind yeah, of but like yeah. 15, 20 years ago when I was a kid coming up, it was like people was act like if you weren't Tupac, you was you like, were yeah, you didn't you had bad taste. Yeah, so no, he he's pr- yeah. he's properly rated. I agree. I, that, that was damn man. Yeah, that's a that's a heavy pool. Yeah, it needs see, to be easier after this. Jesus. See, I think I and I agree with this. I'm a Make this please, statement and please, then we'll move please. to the next one. But uh, I think when it comes to the best rapper of all time, oh. it's really probably like, and this is, this sounds kind of crazy, maybe I'm being generous, but like it's probably about thirty dudes yeah. you can put in there. Yeah, and, and and I don't think there's a wrong choice. No, Andre three thousands up there for discussion. Yeah, Nas is in discussion. Yeah. Jay Z, Kanye, Cole, Kendrick, Drake. I mean, there's so many you have every greats. Right to that, and that's what makes the debate so fun. Yeah, it's like that. It could people, be any of you, them. If you really and you can fo- make the argument. If you really force people to be truly honest, it was a way to like you could just like Professor X a motherfucker and be like, <laughs> you have to tell the truth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I mean? We had to shave our heads for us to do it. But uh, if you, no. you shaved your head and then put was me like, in the chair, you know, I'm ready. Mm, yeah. Mm. Um, I think that's people will tell you truthfully. That's what makes it such a fun conversation is because they know in their heart there are thirty to forty, fifty people. They all people earn who that spot. Earn the spot is the number one. Is number one. Yeah. So, so it's it's basically a tie for thirty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Tupac perfectly rated. Yeah. We're gonna leave, we're gonna leave it at that. Thug life, baby. Yeah. <laughs> he also wait one more thing. Tupac has a uh, the best lyric ever. The best worst lyric ever. Oh. You ooh. other motherfuckers falling. Me and my motherfucking thug niggas. Yeah. We straight balling. Yeah, I, as a that's... kid, I was like, this nigga say motherfucking 50 times. But when I heard that <laughs> shit, it was the hardest shit I've heard in my life. Hey, I was like, you other motherfuckers falling. <laughs> Me and my motherfucking thug niggas. We straight balling. Hey, it's that delivery, <laughs> man. Bro, bro. Pac, Pac really, that's what he's going for. He had for. that he's... Martin Luther King. Uh, <laughs> he had that he, preacher. He was, he, was, he was Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Burned yeah, into yeah. one person. I'm just basically. saying that vocal delivery, though. No, I mean even even the delivery, yeah, like yeah, it was, yeah, it, sure. you know, that's that's. All right, so we going pop, again. Baby, Hopefully, yeah. nothing as hard as, as difficult as that. That was man. a hard first yeah, one. That I ain't a, gonna lie. That was a lot, man. That was a lot. <laughs> I'm just trying to get one. All right. Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh shit, man! I'm on a diet. Okay, keep it real though. What, I'm what? on a diet, so I'm gonna say. Properly, I would say, uh, properly rated. Perfectly rated for Reese's. I, I think so. I love them. Yeah, they're my, they're my favorite chocolate candy. I love like, them so much. <laughs> they make this uh, 
They make not not Reese's, but some other company makes like these protein versions. Oh, like them. peanut butter, yeah, and chocolate, and, and yeah. they're like two hundred calories versus whatever four hundred, five hundred, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I love them shits. I I treat them like I, I only give myself maybe once a month. Like I have one of those, the protein versions. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like savoring that shit. Like, <laughs> I like bite, bite. You take a bite of it and put it away. Like okay, that's it. You gotta wait. Wait ten minutes. You grab another bite. Nah, they're they're amazing. Perfectly rated. I think they're perfect. I'm I'm not. I'm, I, I'm just think, riding the fence I, on everything. I feel I feel like for me, Reese's peanut butter cups could never be overrated. No. That's just how it's no. either underrated or perfectly rated. And I'm also like, I'm also it's also like because of the diet, like I'm f- fantasizing how much better they are. So, <laughs> so you're like in your head, then, like these would taste. 50 times better yeah. now than ever before. I haven't had a Reese's peanut butter cup in at least a year. Damn. Like six months. Oh my six, God, months. that's harsh. No, no, yeah, for sure. Oh, I didn't mean to make you pull that tantalizing yeah, no. arm. So, so, so Tupac in and Reese's peanut butter cup, the next one better not be like pussy. Be like... <laughs> all perfectly rated. Yeah, just like, yeah, all, all perfectly rated. <laughs> it's a Venn diagram of Tupac pussy and then fucking Reese's, Reese's peanut, peanut butter, butter cups. cups. There's just a little circle and it's Damon. If you go, yeah. <laughs> Knows me so well already. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so last All right, one. So yeah, uh, next one. Those were both perfectly rated, y'all. Perfectly rated. I agree. I, I, I agree. Get... I can't. I can't disagree with those. God damn, bro! What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Yo, this dude. This... I'm pop. Hey, I'm. I know what I'm is doing it, with these. Is man. it just all? You know what's funny? All three of these I just pull. It's just all the same three things in the, in the hat. Because this one is Darth Vader. <laughs> oh shit! You understand yeah. who Darth Vader is to me? I put out a record called Vader earlier this year. Yes, Vader sir. Vader is my heart. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. say I'm gonna say Darth Vader is underrated because I'm taking Ooh. it as a personal thing for me. Yeah. I am Darth Vader. I am underrated. There we go. I I'm love it. Underrated. I I feel like Darth Vader. In the in the canonical sense of Star Wars to me too is like the greatest villain we've ever seen. No, that's not like, stop. Period. Like literally, it's not M- close. movie villain. Yeah, the best. It's a that the, the oh, oh, I hope you can hear that when I edit this shit oh. in the vocals. Yeah, you when you hear that, yeah, yeah. you you know it's a problem. Right, the music. It's a problem. The music. We yeah. sampled that. Yeah. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. John Williams. Fucking, he put his whole John Will Yussi into that bitch, bro. Will, Will it, it's John William Ussi. Trademark, <laughs> patent pin, the trademark pending on that phrase. Uh, John William Ussi. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Nah, so. Uh, no, I mean, his, 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 uh, his back got to be tired from carrying the biggest franchise of all time. <laughs> hey, for what, 30, for 50 years? That's... Come on, bro. <laughs> They've been telling Darth Vader story over and over. People and... get mad about Marvel, but... All Star, all Star Wars all do is. is find ways to inject Darth Vader in the <laughs> shit. They be sitting there in the, the board meeting. So how do we? It's I know he's Vader? dead. I know we need to. Put, <laughs> if, if we get this character from from back in the day and put her over here, somehow Palpatine she, returns. She'll have a flashback <laughs> about this nigga Darth Vader, right? And then we could do a whole episode. Bruh. No, that's real though, and he's Darth Vader's the goat. Man. But I'll, I'll eat it up every time. Darth, I, same, I, I, same. I agree. Underrated or perfectly rated for me. Darth Vader could never be Darth overrated. Vader can never be overrated, bro. That, Biggest I, menace. Th- these, there's like three of my favorite things. <laughs> not, not these three <laughs> particular pieces of paper. Like, these are just pieces of paper. But the things written on them: Tupac, Reese's peanut butter cups, and Darth Vader. Those are my. Those are like top 10 things for me. And mind you, this is the first time I'm really kicking it with this dude. That's so I wrote these down with the, the thought of like, maybe he he might know what to talk about. I knew for the Vader one because you dropped that song. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, that'll be a good little treat. Yeah. But the re- the other ones, that was just off the cuff. So. Nah, man, Vader is my, like, like that's one of my... That's, that's your alter ego. Because I feel like... I just love, I just love like how unabashedly evil he was. Oh, he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and then later they were like, uh, you know, he's just angry. He lost the, cause you gotta see, like, I'm not trying to get like super personal. No, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Keep I, it I, real. I, I lost the love of my life years ago. Like, she, yeah. She, she died. And oh, so, I'm like, sorry, man. Damn. So when I, so that, it's a silly thing to be connected to like a, a silly space movie, mm, but like. Nah, that's that got whole context, thing with man. Padme and everything like that. That hit me in a different place than it might might some other people. Even though so, you know, I hate sand and all the jokes we make about some of those old movies. No, I, mean, <laughs> I hate sand. I mean, that's kind of stupid. But 
<laughs> Big shout out to Hayden Christensen, though. Hey, underrated, we bro. Love you. Under we love underrated you. performance, love man. Him. Glad you got your flowers, but uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I did, Darth Vader just as a kid, just how cool he was, and then yep. like like just the parallels between what happened to him. And I've always felt like as a younger person. Like I had a lot of expectations on me as an artist to do certain things, and yeah. Like, and then I did things and pan out a certain way. So it was like being a quote unquote chosen almost, one. Yeah, and yeah. Then um, and then almost, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Vader's big for me, man. Vader's I, big. I love that. All right, Vader is perfectly rated or uh, wait underrated for under, him. For under. me, for me, I'll give him the perfectly rated yeah, status. Yeah. All right, what we got next, bro? We okay, got we got a, we got a, yeah we got a few more of these. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We don't have to do them all, but let's do, let's, let's do, do a few more. more. Popcorn is overrated. Damn, it's overrated. I kind of fucking agree, but it's tell overrated. us why. Why is why is because, popcorn overrated, bro? Because I have to overrate something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like <laughs> because, they're all perfect. Damn it, something's got to be overrated. There's something okay? wrong with this shit. <laughs> Something. No popcorn's fine. You know why? And yeah. also because it gets all in your teeth and shit. All in your I hate lungs. the kernels, bro. And then like the Irks popcorn me. that I that you do like. I like the white cheddar cheese popcorn. Ooh, yeah, I don't feel good. like they put enough flavor on them. Yeah, well you'll, you'll you'll get a bag and one of them's covered in flavor yeah. and then the rest of the bag is empty. Oh, so this is just, this is just dry popcorn. Oh, so you gonna give me a bag of dry corn? <laughs> this old dry ass... Popcorn no flavor, bro? Oh, but what I do like is when you get the real big bag, the bottom of it is all these broken oh, up bits. Oh, and then it. those are the best, though. Because then, then you get covered, the flavor. They're covered in yeah. seasoning. And you just like, whoo. <laughs> so what I do is like, I get those, I, I make sure, I, I pour the whole bag into a, into a Ziploc bag. And then that way you can kind of navigate and get Yeah, you can that. see, you can, you can see what you're looking at. You're like, all right, good, I'm gonna get this one. Mm -hmm. This piece looks like shit. Just grab it. <laughs> I'm getting it one piece at a time. I ain't eating that. What is taking Damon so damn long like to get that popcorn? you're separating the Skittles with all the different colors of Skittles. i out the ones I want. <laughs> now, popcorn's overrated. I mean, uh, valid, valid. And, and it's, it's like ubiquitous. Like, it's everywhere. Like, it's all in the theaters. And yeah. Everything. So it's and, it's, and, and not only that, it's at the theaters for like $10 for a fucking oh, bucket yeah, of popcorn. Yeah, they, I heard they Crazy. Want like a pint of blood for that shit, right? <laughs> Give me a pinky toe. You must <laughs> sacrifice your soul for the extra large. Give me your firstborn child, <laughs> and I think about it. But that shit's getting expensive. Nah, that's real. Popcorn is overrated. <laughs> I, I only like like movie popcorn and like white cheddar and, pop I, and, it, and it's like it, it's got to be perfect, and it's not perfect every time. No, it's not. It's not. Like, Whereas a Reese's. Every time it's perfect. I never had a Reese's was like I don't know about this one. That's this real. This particular Reese's. Th this one was. Horrible. Yeah. This one was. Imagine delicious. that. You eat one. You got two in the back. Eat one. You're like, "Gross." You know, great. What happened to this one? Yeah. No, Reese's hits every time. Yeah, popcorn Reese's... does not. Yeah, Reese's needs to make popcorn. Get it? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Y'all heard it. Reese's, get your hands fucking wet in the popcorn. Wait a second. I guess you don't get it wet in popcorn, but you know what I mean. What? <laughs> no. I yeah, I was, I was like thinking it about it. Was, it. I was like, uh, is, it was is that a pause scenario? It would be if, if get if, your hands wet is pause, but popcorn. But then this is not necessarily right. Anyway, no, that's yeah, not. That's not falling for a different. That's not falling <laughs> for a different day. <laughs> so popcorn is overrated. Popcorn's overrated. All right, what we got next? What popcorn we got? Fell, fell victim to the other stuff. <laughs> Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi. I love me some Cuddy, man. Cuddy's underrated. Cuddy is underrated. Because I think there are people who would enjoy him, but, and this is some, okay, this might get into some shit. All right, yeah, keep it real, keep it real. I think people's, I think people's um, homophobia mm -hmm. and and fear of, like, being different, being seen as different, yeah, keeps yeah. them away from certain artists like Cuddy. Yeah. I, see, I see dudes make fun of Cuddy because he'll wear a dress, he wore a dress on SNL, I mean, and then they'll, like... Love Kurt Cobain because they're too stupid or they're too young to know Kurt Cobain wore dresses. Exactly, oh, bro. Young Thug, another guy that I also enjoy. Who and it has took me a while a to get. As well. It took me a while to get into Young Thug, but it wasn't because he wore a dress. No, I yeah, just feel like a, I feel like he's a people. He's a hard. He's like uh, as far as flavors go, he's like curry or something. Yeah, he's a gotta, hard flavor to yeah, like. Yeah. You know, it's just. But if you like, it's a very like no, niche is, niche taste. Thugger is as unique as they come, and he puts his heart and soul into his work. Yeah, but so yeah. is Cuddy, and Cuddy. Yep. Cuddy yep. is Cuddy is to a lot of artists what Wayne is, but he just didn't get that. Oh, he had it. He left the stamp of an impact bro, on I everybody. There's so it's, many things it's crazy. I do. Yeah, so much creative stuff I do that I don't even know I got from Cuddy because I because I'm a type of person I don't Same. listen to a lot of music, other people's music because I if I listen to a if I listen to Kendrick's album all day and then try to write a song it's gonna be like 
I can see the changes. You know, what I'm <laughs> like I got to be careful what I like intake. Oh my it, 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 it god, it can reflect <laughs> the outtake. Funny, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so uh, Cuddy, but Cuddy's underrated because I, I remember like, you was misusing your influence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no. no, but I, yeah, nah, yeah, Cuddy's okay. brilliant, man. One of the one of the goats. One of the goats. First, sure. he's in that thirty list we yes, were talking he about. Is. He he, he's definitely in there. Cuddy he has a record. It would It's probably not even one of his bit bigger songs or even whatever. But this record does something to me. He had a record. They they tried to remake a movie, uh, song, a movie called Fright Night. It was like about vampires. Yeah, yeah. He had that, I feel like something is strange. Yeah, like, I remember. Yeah, I can sense it, but no one believes. Oh, me. and he, it, it, bro, that shit. He nails so, it with his vocals. Bro, so too, I, I used to be a stone cold drug addict, and yeah. I would sit. In the recording studio, we had like a garage. I would sit out there for days sometimes writing stuff, just just strung out. And I would play that song and just vibe. Like it, It's just such an incredible, right? The vocals, the feel of the song. Just takes you it's away. It's so haunting. And, yeah. Oh, man. Man. Cuddy, one of the goats. Get you some Cuddy in your life. Get you some Cuddy in both ways. No pause. Keep playing. <laughs> Wear a dress if you want to, too. Who gives a fuck? Oh, God, man. Live your, live your life. I'm Irish. We used to pull up in kilts, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. with it. I know Andre, Andre 3000, bro. He was, he's another one. Pulled up in a dress, bro. Dudes will talk shit about andro- androgynous looks and then be playing Prince in the background. Stupid motherfucker. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, he ain't lying, bro. Alchemist. He ain't fucking lying. Alchemist? Damn. Damn, that's tough. That's a tough one. Cause it, see, is. You, it depends on what angle. Alchemist is both. Cause people that like him sometimes put him up. They too overhype far. him a little bit. And yeah. people that don't give him his due are like they what? don't know him at all. Right. Yeah. 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 It's like so, one half one or the other half. It's halves. weird. It depends on what who you who you are. Would you say that almost because of that that puts him in a perfectly it puts rated, him in a perfect Cause, spot? Because you got you got both polarities going. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's one of them people that like he's so polarizing. People will be like he's either he's the greatest either, producer of all time or like who or, or I don't even know who he is. Who? Yeah. Yeah, like no, that's what I want. Not, he has almost a perfect career. Yeah, he, no, exactly. That's to where he's wanna... he's in his. To me, I love I, as oh a my as a producer. God. I love all his beats. Oh Alchemist. my god, he's a genius. And, see, I'm on the end of I'm probably hyping him up too much, but I love Alchemist. I think me Big, Big Al is a goat to me. As far yeah, as he's producers. one of the greats. Yeah, but like, but but yes, perfectly rated because the Venn diagram meets at a halfway. Yeah, yeah, him. he's like yeah. both overrated and underrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah. So that levels it out he's so, like overrated and underappreciated damn yeah that's like yeah. yeah that's a good way to put it yeah that's I, weird that's a weird place to be but I, that's where i want to i want to be there hey that's the sweet spot i want that's where i want to be oh yeah be like anyone who knows me calls me the goat but but lots of people are like but people are like i don't know who he is i have no clue who that is underground goat status yeah, is man. fire but, but see that's levels to underground yeah, it's like that's he's that, well, he's he's not he's like yeah. mainstream underground. Yeah, that's in a what weird you in be. a weird sense. Like you don't like, want to be a household name to where you gotta like get a tummy tuck or whatever the fuck some of these mainstream niggas have to do to stay up there. <laughs> but you, you know what but, I mean? But and he's like keep making the same album every couple of years. Yeah, yeah. But you also don't want to be like so underground to where like you can't pay your mortgage or you can't. You, you gotta know, have the status your mama needs a little bit. You can't go get it for. Yeah, you know I mean? like yeah. you almost like uh, like I feel like currency is another guy who's kind of like that. Where he's oh, like, currency is a great place. Uh, an underground king makes plenty of money. Can go to Target, and nobody knows him. Like that's yeah. the goal. Yeah. You don't want to be Drake, where you're fucking walking in to uh, get groceries, and and you can't even get groceries. Motherfuckers yeah. are like beaming you down for like autographs and shit. Like, I like I like never happy with your output because I, I I listen to some critique of Drake and I'd be like yeah. but he, isn't he doing what y'all wanted him to do like, yeah he's wait, trying to go gonna different be, lanes y'all yeah. niggas gonna be mad at him regardless because if he came out with a straight up underground lyrical rap album they would complain would like, about it the too fuck? they the would fuck? complain where about the it too at, Drake? Where the... so it's just I feel like he in the lose lose and one thing he's... I do like about Drake is mm-hmm. It feels like I don't know him. Per- I mean, I don't know if you guys know this. Right. I don't know Drake personally, so yeah. just wanted a disclaimer. <laughs> shout but out, it, he, <laughs> shout out Drake, shout out Drizzy. <laughs> but it feels like he doesn't care. Like even no, yeah. when he, even no, when he, he responds, doesn't. it feels like he's having fun, and he's, I think that's the most you can really ask for. Ex- like exactly, enjoy yourself, man. You know, and he is hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. So what was our last one? What we, uh, we it just, was an alchemist. Alchemist. Perfectly rated for Alchemist. Yeah, yeah. Let's do two more, bro, so we can have some time right, cool, for the cool, top cool. three. Yeah, let's do it. I, yeah. I wrote a bunch of fucking names on this shit, so. <laughs> Toasted Ravioli. Damn, straight from the loo. 
<laughs> underrated because it needs to be in more places. Everywhere. Right. It yeah. needs to be everywhere, bro. Like, International have ravioli. You had the, the spot uh, <laughs> toasted over on. Oh, a, I love SDL's toasted or whatever. Is this fire? Yes, bro. I gotta go. Uh, so they so they do like a bunch so, of so, different so, wait, so y'all know toasted is a uh, a restaurant spot and the city foundry. Yeah, and it's like it's like a toasted ravioli specialty place. Yes, that's all they like, make. Like a standard toasted ravioli is usually just like beef and pork or something and like mm-hmm. seasonings and what and cheese or whatever. This place they have like different varieties of it. So they have like a buffalo chicken one. Okay. That's really fucking good. Okay. I'm not even a fan of blue cheese, but blue cheese is in it. Okay. And it's still really good. Well, they put it so you put it in the in the ravioli. See, I haven't yeah, had so it. I haven't had it yet. It, I've been over there, but I haven't had it. I yet. I recommend it, but the best thing they have is they have dessert raviolis. So it's basically oh, like a pop come tart. on, man. <laughs> It's like they had like a, I think they had like a caramel apple one and you, it's like apple, it's like an apple turnover, but you dip it in the fucking caramel. You know yeah, what I have, You're on a diet, bro. You know I what I have for lunch I shouldn't today. be hitting you with you this. Know what I, you know the only thing I'm eating today, I had a protein shake and I had a bowl of oatmeal. So please Va- shut hey, all the way the fuck up. Hey, valid though, because I only had a smoothie and some coffee. I'm in the same boat. I'm fucking my head up with it too, bro. Bro, that but, shit sounds so fire. So T-Ravs are a uh, St. Louis treat to those watching bro, who aren't from St. Louis. I remember Louis. I went to L.A. I don't know how it came up. I don't, I don't remember how it came up. All I can say is it so came it up a lot. brought up toasted raviolis. It came up a lot. <laughs> That's what we're so known for. Be like, uh, no, no, it was something like ordered ravioli and I... You know, and I'm, I was like, I was like super young when I moved. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So, um, and I ordered ravioli, and they were just like the wet noodles. Yeah, you know? and I was like, "What in the fuck is this? This isn't what I've had. This ain't ravioli." Because I didn't <laughs> even in my brain. It wasn't toasted ravioli. It yeah, was just it's ravioli. A, yeah, yeah. But, Pasta you know ravioli. Yeah. I'm showing my age. Back in the day, we didn't. In St. Louis, we didn't call it toasted ravioli. They added that. They, that's a lot. They added that. It was just like, I mean, it yeah, was, it was just ravioli. It yeah. was probably called toasted ravioli, but if niggas didn't say the toasted. No, they it just, was just I just like, said ravioli. Hey, man, he was yeah. ravioli. Never did this shit. <laughs> that's real. Yeah. Damn. So toasted raviolis are underrated, underrated and bro, I agree. As a St. Louisan. That is a treat here yes. and a staple Especially of this fucking city. The marinara dip is on point because the people under Ooh, the, the marinara is on point. Oh my god, you go crazy! Ooh. These little parmesan. Woo! Shit, don't. That's one of my favorite foods. Oh. See, that's what uh, I'm, I got some in the freezer. We gonna we gonna get some Fazio's. Yeah. Damn, I might have one. Get of it those. going. I had one of those in a minute. Either. Yeah. yeah. My, the diet is up on uh, November fifteenth. All right, so give I this man go some grace. Crazy. And then we're gonna give him some. Uh, Reese's peanut butter cups and, and toasted, toasted raviolis. raviolis. Go, go crazy. Ooh, you know what they should do? They should make a like the dessert ones at uh, STL's toasted. Oh. They should make a Reese's peanut butter oh. toast dessert. That that'd so wait, be nuts. So like wait, what's the what's the what's the breading made out of for the dessert ones? Oh, uh, it's just like it, 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 no, it's just like it's just like it's almost like an empanada kind of. If okay. I had to describe it, like okay. it's like a soft, flaky. Kinda, oh God, damn! Yeah, and then like you could put like powdered sugar on there, put some brown sugar Come on there. Come on, man! Woo! See, man, got me feeling like Frank look- Ocean over here. He's, like, oh, he's, yeah, he's looking at the posters. He can't do it. No he's more. struggling, bro. He's like, bro, I need that toasted wrap. Bit oh, my <laughs> fingers off almost. <laughs> All right, let's. This will be the last one, bro. So, okay, okay. Ma- max it out here, bro. Let's do this one. Let's do What's this the one. last one? What we got? What we got? Spider Man. Woo! Shit! Spider Man's the goat. Spider Man is the fucking goat. Spider Man is the goat. I think. Okay, I think about this more than I probably should as an adult man. No, there's. But I, think I about, keep uh, going. The, I love the, to hear it. The the <laughs> modern comic book. Leading man trifecta is Spider Man, Batman, and Wolverine. Those are probably the three. I agree. Gods of the comic book. The forefront landscape. of it. Yeah, yes. you know, no, this is Superman. That's my boy. I love him too. But in terms of popularity, I would credit, put. I would modern, pick. I would. I would accept Wolverine over Superman. I think 100%. so. In modern times. Hundred you know I mean? percent. Um, Spider Man's the goat out of all three of them. I think. I think about that. Like, cause I. He's <laughs> this is so dumb. But I, I sit by myself and be like, is Spider Man <laughs> better than Batman? I'd be in traffic. Like, real. I, I think valid. So. Ar- valid argument though to have. Like, so he's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfectly rated. He's perfectly rated. I mean, you could say he's a little underrated because you got some Batman heads holding out. I think there are people who feel Batman's a more serious character because of some of the grittier movies. Yeah, that but had. genuinely, Spider Man to me. Sorry for interrupting. No, please, but, please. But to me, no. to me, Spider Man, bro, is like. He has some of the most tragic stories oh in my comics God. Oh my God. ever. Dude literally gets buried alive by fucking Craven. Like, it's... Th- 
I promise you, it's a fucking mess. No, it's intense. Ah, uh, no, no Spider Man. The Craven stories are crazy. When the one where Craven defeated him finally and then killed himself. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. I, I mean, mean, the yeah, Craven's. That's why I don't know about what they're doing with uh, they're trying to make Craven into a hero, and I'm like, yeah, man. with uh, oh, who is it who played him in that uh, movie? Uh, uh, he was Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Yeah. A- Aaron Taylor Johnson. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah, I didn't, li- I, I didn't, I didn't like that. We need a Craven story that's. The right, done the right it's, way. It's not even that I don't, I don't mind changing stories up. Whatever, do you think? Yeah. You know? But it's just that they just missing out because Craven has such a great villain story. It's oh like, yeah, he does. Like, yeah. You know, it's like don't do that. Don't go hero first. Start with him as a crazy bad guy, and then if you want to move him th- over, you know, then you can scoot it down there. Yeah, right. Let's start with you know being and out there. It's with the Spider-Man thing because I'm yeah. thinking about it too. Please. I don't know if you are a gamer, but the new Spider-Man game comes Drops out tomorrow. tomorrow, and I already pre-ordered that shit. Yeah, yeah, I've been and, I ordered and, it months ago, and I am. That's gonna be one of the greatest superhero games ever. Like yeah. one, I don't know if it'll be number one. I want to. I'm not gonna judge it before I What's play. What's number it. one right now? Then oh, I think. Uh, fuck, Ooh, man. I put, him, I put him to the test, I, baby. I ain't gonna lie. I am a so. As a fan, I will take Spider-Man over Batman. But but, as, but Arkham City, or or like really a lot of those Batman games, they kind of kicked off the start for like yeah, man. the superhero games. Yeah, but man. but I ate Modern era. I I also ate Spider-Man up like the last one that released on, yeah, on yeah, PlayStation yeah. Four, I guess. But oh, I I for me, I think the greatest uh, uh, comic book video game ever is Arkham City by Batman, but I think this Spider-Man 2 could very well topple that shit. You have, like, high expectations for this. I have extremely high expectations. I mean, well, they have my favorite, uh, one of my favorite entities in the Spider-Man IP is Venom. Mm -hmm. I love Venom. Mm. Oh, fuck. We ran out of film. Cool. I, but fuck! I knew this was gonna happen, but it's it's okay. We are gonna upgrade the camera. This is still recording. Y'all hear the audio? Okay. We're still fucking talking here. Uh, fuck, man, my bad. Let's no, let's we'll, we'll we'll wrap this up. Uh, Spider Man is perfectly rated. Perfectly rated. Perfectly rated from Damon, baby. Yeah. We love that shit. So the camera went out. Uh, this happens sometimes, but I hope y'all are still listening. Uh, we're going to leave on a note here. I'm going to let Damon say his piece here. I, you got anything you want to tell the people before we get off? And I uh, feel like we said everything. I even plugged the song already. You hell, know? hell yeah. Um, I will say this though. I was thinking about this a lot. I think, uh, just in terms of how important social media is and, you know, things like podcasts and all that, that we're doing in, in the modern area, pro- yes, sir. promoting ourselves as artists. I think that we also have to start looking at ourselves too. Cause we talk a lot about, the algorithm not giving us a shot and da da da. But if everyone is just posting and dipping, yeah, then no one's interacting. So then there's no interaction. So one thing I try mm-hmm. to do now is, and I try to do it twice a week. Yeah, I'll spend a full hour going through my feed. I, I, I pick one. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram is my favorite. Yeah, and yeah. not just posting my shit and dipping. Yeah, just but going connecting. through content, watching stuff. At least leaving a like. If something moves me more, right, then right. I leave a comment. And I don't mean a fucking fire emoji, you lazy <laughs> motherfucker. He's right. He's right. Watch something. That's valid. When it moves you, <laughs> interact. Say, yo, I love this photo. Yo, she was spitting. That was crazy. That line where you said whoop de whoop about your cousin was bars. Yeah. Yo, yeah. I see you out here hustling. Da 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 da. That's how I ended up on this. That, literally, that literally how I, I'm on this podcast. I did. I was going through my fucking shit. And and I was like, you know what? This dude Buddha has been busting his ass on this on this shit. I'm trying. And man. instead of being like, <laughs> man, I put out three singles and I ain't seen no did. I just went. I was like, yo, yo, I see you, bro. It's you going, you going Respect. up, you doing your thing. Respect. Like so, uh, Barack Obama said it a long time ago. It was corny as fuck, but it's true. <laughs> we are the ones we are waiting for. Damn, so if you I feel like, like that, so if you feel like you're not getting the love that you deserve. Ask yourself, are you giving that love? Damn right. Because you're going to get what you give out, man. That's and even real. if you don't, man, it'll make the world a better place. You yeah. might not get it one-to-one. That's true. That's Sometimes true, too. Sometimes I don't get nothing back. <laughs> I don't get a lot back. But, man, I feel so much better after I go out there. And I find some dope shit. Give it love feels good, Before we were man. artists, before we were podcasters, before we were writers, before we were dancers, before we were poets, before we were painters, we were fans. Yes. And you got to remember Damn, that. Damn, bro. This dude's been... I swear, this 
This is literally the Bible of of <laughs> life and music right here. So if you're, you, if you're if you're not listening to what this dude's saying, you're missing out on some fucking important game, bro. Because even me, just uh, kicking it here, I fucking just soaked up some game too. I feel like I'm a sponge, uh, and and this dude is the fucking faucet, just dumping hot water on my head. So, uh, but no, I I really uh, I, I enjoyed having you on today, man. Mm-hmm. I hope uh, we can continue our. Uh, not just business relationship, yeah, but relationship yeah. as friends Let's too, and uh, yeah. and you know we'll we'll jam some music. We're gonna get together and hopefully get on some records together, and uh, we'll definitely do another episode. This is just the beginning. Yo, man. I gotta bring Rodden through here because energy is different. I gotta we, bring the boys. We're gonna get two more mics, and we'll get uh, we'll get so, we'll get soul and wrecking here too, yeah, man. Yeah, it, it, that, much much needed. It'll different. be a vibe. It's different. <laughs> yes, sir. Maybe we'll we gotta get you on a Rodden record too, man. I, we gotta I, get you on some shit. I need it. I need it. Yeah, you talk some shit. It's it's. Definitely uh, long overdue and ready for us to make it happen, man. Yeah, we going we gonna make that that shit work. Hell yeah! Uh, but without further ado, I know you can't see us. I hope you hear us, and I hope that you tap in and watch this shit. Listen, tap in with Damon. Tap in with Rotten. Uh, we're not fucking around out here, man. We're we're here to give you ourselves, and I hope that you take it fully. Pause. Uh, with that being said, remember Buddha <laughs> TV. We are out. Fly on the wall. Yes, sir.